Hello, so for today's video, I'm gonna be going over what I do for my curly hair. I'm not sure on what curl pattern I have, but some people have said that I have a 2B or a 2C. Maybe it's something else because it's always different. So I'll be showing you guys a bunch of different curls that I get throughout the week. But for this video, I wanna go ahead and show you just straight out of the shower. Uh, before we get into this, I haven't posted in a while, I'm very sorry. I will talk about that later on in the video. But for this part, let's go ahead and just get into my routine. So this is my hair right out of the shower and my eye bags, of course, I have to do that. Anyway, um, <laughs> last reason why I didn't post this video is because I hated my face and I was like, you know what, I have eye bags, I'm tired. So I'm gonna post it anyway this time, but as you can see, I'm doing some finger curling in the beginning, but only in the front because my front is kind of the only part that I really, really care about in the back. Not too much, which, you know, honestly, I should care about that as well. But I, sometimes I think the front needs some help. But right here, I have some Moroccan oil and I only use this in my hair when it needs moisture. I don't do this all the time, but only when it needs moisture because curly hair, oh, you're going to need a lot of oils for that. So I go ahead and just lightly cover my hair. I don't want too much oil just because it can be really heavy. And then I have recoil right here, which is like kind of just a curling cream to activate all that stuff. I actually, I really don't know what it is, honestly, if I'm gonna be honest. Don't know too much about it, but I know that it's very good for curly hair. Um, so I go ahead and just scrunch this throughout my curls, mostly on the ends. And then later on, whatever is left, I will put on the roots. But I don't, I don't really do too much on the roots because if I put that there, then I can't really keep my part very well and it's kind of just flinging all over the place with curls, but yeah. And then I get my diffuser. Oh, <gasps> surprise. Okay, so I recently got into diffusing and found out the miracle that it is. Um, I'm also showing Alex here what <laughs> diffuser is because he's never really like seen it or anything, so I put his hand against it. <laughs> but Oh my god, a diffuser is amazing. It's so, so, so helpful. I highly recommend it to anyone that has curly hair. I mean, if you have curly hair, you probably already use this. But for me, I never really started caring about my curly hair until this year. So that's when I started using a diffuser. Now, while I'm diffusing this, I'm going to go ahead and talk about my shampoo and conditioner. In the back, you can see that I actually use the L'Oreal, which I don't like because I believe it has silicone on that one, which I do not like using. I do do the curly girl method when I am doing my hair, but I also got a new one recently. I think it's called Maui, and I still don't like that one either. It None of them compared to Diva Curl. I think that's what it is, right? Yeah, um, I usually use that one. And then this one right here, this cream, is what I use to do anti-frizz and it also holds the curls as well. So once I start to see that my curls are forming, uh, that's when I kind of want to put this in just so later on when I'm diffusing it, it'll hold that curl a little bit better so it won't like die out throughout the day. But yeah, as I was saying, I mostly use just, you know, diva curl i feel like a lot of people use that but i know over time that people will stop liking it i mean if you guys want to recommend any shampoos or products i will totally take it i will do it uh but nothing too heavy because i feel like since i have more of curls that are in the twos uh, rather than like three or four, which are very strong curls um i can't put too much product or else it'll kind of just like kind of just lay out very weird so yeah and then you can see me doing finger curling again i will do this throughout the time you kind of just maintenance it while curling your hair just because i feel like my curls never know where to go top half of the curl will go to the left and then the bottom will go to the right and it just never ever knows where to go <laughs> but yeah just always curling them to where i think they want to go and overall i kind of let my hair do whatever it wants and i don't really mess with it until the very end but I'm going to go ahead and talk about why I was gone because I'm sure you guys are a little bit confused, especially if you don't follow me on Twitter or Instagram or anything like that. Um, so around Christmas time last year, uh, my mom passed away. So 
It's that week again. Well, last week was that week and I just needed a break. I needed some space. And you know, throughout that time I tried recording, but I just couldn't do it. I was always like, I was just really picky and like irritated during that time. So with videos, I had like three videos that I made and I just hated all of them. And I know I said I would not get in that habit again, but during that time it was a little bit more of a struggle. So sorry about that. I shouldn't really be saying sorry because Clearly, like, my mental health is very, very important, and I'm sure you guys understand. Like, you guys are so wonderful and nice and understanding, so I appreciate that. Um, but yeah, just letting you know why it was because of that. And Christmas time is a little bit hard for me, but, you know, my family is here actually right now. My dad and my brother, are, they're playing video games downstairs. <laughs> and um, we're all hanging out right now, so I'm trying to relax at the same time, but I still wanted to get a video out for you guys because I haven't been active for two weeks. That's disgusting. Also, as you see right here, um, the last product that I used to hold the curls and this product, I actually recommend these a lot. Uh, these are the ones that where my curls will kind of just form into one nice uniform shape and it, get it gets rid of that frizz, which I know a lot of people were like, what do you use for the frizz? These two products I, I recommend. I don't know about like three or four. This is mostly just a tutorial for 2B or 2C. Um, but yeah, and this is how my hair looks. It's still a little bit wet, so I need to give it a little bit more time to like, you know, dry because the curls do get... <laughs> that face right there is when I realized I was not gonna like my hair today. Um, but give it a little more time to dry just because, you know, it'll curl a little bit more. It'll get a little bit stronger, a little more uniform. Um, and then you can see me kind of just doing just aiding them because they're still a mess. I don't know. It's so hard to have curly hair in this pattern so short because it just, just, I don't know. Like only the ends curl and I don't know. I feel like it's going to look so much better when it's longer. Ugh, I'm just having so much trouble with it right now. <laughs> so if you guys have any tips, like I will seriously take them, but I can't use like coconut oil on my hair because like it just doesn't do anything and I I hate coconut oil with a passion every time someone recommends coconut oil I just want to bash my face in on a counter or something like that but anyway you can see me right here brushing the uh, parting a little bit because I feel with curly hair it'll separate weird and just like really odd so I like brushing it so all the hair is like kind of like separated and filling it out more um, but yeah this is also how I get rid of my mullet my adorable mullet that I have uh, I just curl it up and roll it and then bobby pin on the bottom and I do this like for the left right and the middle so there's three bobby pins and then I'll put a bobby pin right behind my ear and that will kind of it'll kind of give me like the I guess flapper style where it's like curly and fun and short like a cute little bob so you can really tell the difference right here um, and then towards the end I also look at it with a mirror I hope you guys are doing amazing during the holidays. Um, I hope you guys get everything you ever wanted. And I just want to say thank you so much to everyone that has been coming to the streams and just like being so, so kind with your words and supporting me and all that. I love you guys like seriously so, 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 so much. Um, and I hope you guys are having wonderful holidays right now. This is a whole nother day of me curling my hair. Like my curls are always changing and I just wanted to show like every day it looks so different and this is when it's also kind of wet as well so it's not even fully dry but like the curls here i feel like they came out so much better this day and i wanted to include it i was like what the hell i'm so disappointed and then this is like the other video footage that i had of my curly hair so like it's constantly changing i just want to show that there's days that i have like bad curly hair and good curly hair so i'm just going to include three references to my i'm trying to learn how to curl my hair <laughs> techniques um uh, but yeah so that's that's all i do just those products and i let it air dry for the rest of the time and uh yeah so that's the end of my video i hope you guys have a wonderful day and journey and i will be seeing you guys in the next one <clears throat> maybe changing my hair again okay bye